Hi there. I'm just going to talk you through my laminar flow cabinet. It's uh, more like a laminar flow wall. So what you use this for is for sterile work. This block here is a five and a half inch HEPA filter. So that filters out particles down to 0.3 microns to 99.99%. That means things like mold spores, bacteria, um, even some viruses, I think, won't get through the holes. Now, it draws air in through here, and then um, pushes it into this back box, and then through the HEPA filter. So if I turn it on, the air starts to come out through the front. Now, if I measure the airflow here, getting... Uh, approximately half a meter a second. It's about 100 feet per minute and that's uh, about the right flow of air that you want to uh, to do work in. Right, so to understand exactly what you would do here so say you wanted to, say you had some mushroom mycelium and you had a jar, let's pretend this is like full of grain and you want to Fill, put this mushroom mycelium into the jar full of grain, which has been pre-sterilized, you know, without getting it contaminated. Because there's mold spores everywhere, and so mold spores can just, like, get into everything. I've tried um, growing mushrooms and stuff, just opening the jars in the kitchen, but they always seem to get contaminated with forest green mold. Whereas with this, it's okay. So you turn it on, there's a sterile... Um, stream of air coming through and then you would do all your inoculations like putting the grain into the the spawn into the grain in there or maybe you've got a syringe with some spores in a solution you can inject them onto a petri dish with agar and you do them all in front of that so that's essentially how how it works and uh, yeah I've got a kind of triac to regulate the power to the fan so that I can get the airspeed right to the optimal using the calibration you can um, try and match these things and work it out like theoretically how how fast the fan should be um, matched the filter but if you think about it these things vary even the rated kind of values are going to vary the size of the box um, you know you're going to have to compute the volume of that properly and you know there's a lot of variables there so it's better just to have a fan that's powerful enough and then adjust the rate of flow so you get the correct rate of flow right that's it that's my laminar flow hood cabinet and uh yes goodbye